Hello everybody and welcome to the next episode in Jurassic World Evolution 2 and today's video we are going to be doing a little bit of a tour video of our Jurassic Park 30th anniversary little showcase park. Now you guys saw brief glimpses of it in our previous video where we looked at all of the decorations. I know in that video I said I was going to do both together but I was looking at the runtime of the video at at where I was at, and I was like, yeah, I might as well just split them up into, you know, two videos. So that's what this video is. Last video, if you want to check out my thoughts on each decoration and stuff, and my hopes for what it means for the future of the channel and stuff, do check out that video. But if you're here for a tour, then, well, you're in the right place. And I think with that little intro out of the way, we should just get underway and start the tour right now. So we start right at our entranceway. Well, technically this is a secondary entranceway because I actually have two sections to this little park. Realistically, this should be a Jurassic Park one, but I already have a Jurassic Park entrance, so just ignore that. We also have a Biosyn one because in this world of Jurassic Park, um, Biosyn and InGen have put aside their differences. Dotson is not in control here, so... Well, he would never was, but you get what I mean. He's not running the show. So, we start off here at the um, outside center where we have two Biosyn facilities. One is for our security, one is for our science team. So if you have any questions with them, you can introduce yourself and start asking questions away. Here we've got our little raptor mural here with the Parasaurolophus, along with our first shop of the day here. Hope you um, enjoy it. Um, some snacks and such. Let's keep going around. Also, um, if you want to go, th we'll actually go this way, but we're going to actually cut back through here, go through the double Jurassic Park gate. We'll look at that properly in a minute. But then here we've got the Jurassic Park little centerpiece here for our exhibit where you guys can get some lovely photos with these titan skeletons of the past before you see the creatures of the past brought back to life. A nice way to get you in the right mindset, I must say, with our Alamosaurus fossil and Tyrannosaurus rex fossil. But if you choose to go back on, we'll actually just um, make our way back to the Jurassic Park gates and stuff and we'll head into the center of the island's park, which we have um, some little guest facilities here with Mr. DNA to direct you on where to go if you wish, along with another Tyrannosaurus fossil. This one actually is pretty special if you ask me. Some murals and when dinosaurs ruled the earth indeed. Also, if you head down these paths, you can actually check out some of our special exhibits but that comes later now you can actually just um have a l look at the archway of when dinosaurs ruled the earth or if you're on the other side here you can get it as well with our 30 anniversary pathway laid out for you guys which again you can get it from behind and get the back of the murals along with a view of both um, Jurassic Park shops here. You got a little fossil store here so if you want something maybe not as large as that T-Rex fossil just behind there but you want something like a T-Rex tooth or something I'd recommend visiting our fossil center. But if you're feeling hungry or thirsty and stuff and want to grab a Apex Predators meal if you ask me I'd recommend coming here where we serve a true predator's meal. But if you're wishing to continue the tour, we'll um, well we'll just go through. And also, I'm pretty sure that this path just ends right here. Yeah. So if you want to just um come and take a look at one of our first enclosures, which from this it looks like this is our Triceratops enclosure actually, as you can catch a few right over there. But also, you might be able to catch some of their droppings um, if you 
um, have, lift your kid up and stuff, you'll see a little bit of a poop area section. But we're just gonna keep on going because we're not here for just poop, we're here for dinosaurs. And then on this side, it's another end to the path as well, but this one goes a little bit further, actually. Here you'll actually get to see um, the tour ride, so maybe if you want to, um, I don't know, wave at a guest who's coming by. Hey, y'all, how you doing? It's me. Well, then you go there, and we will take the tour ride as well, and this tour, this little path goes a little bit off ways, but if you're lucky, you might catch not only a glimpse of, um, our raptors in the enclosure here, although you can hear something else coming from that direction, because, well, in that direction is an apex of unimaginable power, but if you're lucky here, which I am, you'll catch a glimpse of our Gallimimuses, or at least a few of them, which they are our sprinters and such, so they have quite an open exhibit on the fields and hills of Isla Nublar, though I'd be careful and stuff, because while they may be, um, cute looking, they, like ostriches, can crack, can pack quite a kick. It looks like we're gonna have a little bit of rain on our tropical island, which Whew, thank God, like, I'm, I'm fine with heat, trust me guys, but sometimes you get to love the rain, even when it's the tropical storm, but it looks like it's just going to be a little light rain for us today, which is not too bad. Now, normally I wouldn't recommend this, but in our case, we're going to actually, uh, we're going to actually teleport ourselves from here to over there, so... You see us over here? Now we're in front of the Now we're in front of the building, folks, and now we're going to go. Can we cross over? Yes, we can. We're going to go past the visitor center, which if you'd like to go in there, you can. And also, I hear that Dr. Wu is having a scheduled appointment there for anybody who wishes to ask him some questions about his work. I'd highly recommend it, as he's rare to do that, except for when I order him to. But this one is actually him being generous. I didn't even know he was scheduling this one. But we're going to go all the way around. And we will stop back by here in a moment to catch a tour. Also, if you look up there, you'll see one of our prizes of a Parasaurolophus, which you'll get a better view soon, I'm sure. But also, if you decide to just um, try and risk a peep and stuff, you'll actually catch a look through here, and you might see one of our three Velociraptors. They do have a little mini exhibit there, that was their form of containing, but we did build the enclosure around them because it was quite a nice sight to see. But, we're gonna keep moving on, and also allow the um, jeeps to go through, make sure that you don't get run over. Okay, it is safe to cross over now, and here on this side you've got some lovely shops and stuff, also a little area for you to um, have a quick um, break and grab your lunch. If you are scheduling for drinks or any refreshments or meals, and you wish to sit outside, please make your reservation in the building on the left, and they will park you out here. And also, it is the same on the other side as well, except on the other side, we do serve crab as it shows, but also I am a huge fan of their Chilean sea bass, and it is quite beautiful. Also, as you can see from the high rise, there's a place to go right up here for those who dare to go to the highest height, other than the helicopter, of course, and zipline to the other side of this little guest section. But if we're wanting to view some dinosaurs, we can start from here. And this one, I believe, actually is viewing into our Tyrannosaurus Rex enclosure. The apex and king, or in this case, queen of the dinosaurs, as Rexy rules this island with iron jaws. See what I did there, guys? Because you know her hands are 
tiny compared to most, so she puts it all into the jaws. Though, trust me, those claws can be very, very tricky. Because, well, you may think she uses just her mouth to do the damage, but no, she, she can use those hands mischievously. Trust me, uh... Our last T-Rex didn't do so well. Also, right here is our little hotel and such, so if you wish to, um, check it out, you can. Also, our secondary arrival point right here, but we're gonna go around this way. Also, there's a viewing vent over there, so maybe we'll catch a look, actually we will, of our lovely Brachiosaurus, which you can catch to the top of one, who's just, a uh, looking towards the fence and is like, uh, yeah, I don't want to be on the other side. Also, you can actually see a brief glimpse into the Dilophosaurus enclosure itself. Also, it looks like one of our jeeps is, uh, kind of stuck in there. Probably, probably it's nothing. We'll be fine and such, but, uh, anyway, we're gonna get back onto the tour. Oop, gotta get through these crowds. Jeez. I know we just opened and stuff, but this is ridiculous. Uh, excuse me, excuse me. And, uh, we're gonna go through the heart itself, and either direction gives you more viewing options, but we're gonna go left for this one. These little viewing sections right here are to get an open view of the enclosure. Now you may be worried, will the dinosaurs um, just walk right through? Relax, they have, they know their area, but this gives our guests a perfect view in without having to, you know, cramp in these vents, even though this one's quite empty at the moment. Also, we have another viewing observatory deck, which that is for research only, but also here, if you want a little quieter place, it seems like, I'd recommend coming through behind here. Another dinosaurs ruled the earth archway and a lovely mural, but it's quite quiet, except for when that helicopter comes, of course. But also, you can get closer to here, and this is where the zipline ends, so if you were, like, wondering, where do I go to, you just go here. But I still inform you, please go to that direction to get on it. This is where you get off of it. And, uh, of course, you can see some more Parasaurolophus, and also you can see the top of one Brachiosaurus right over there as well. And also, if we're lucky, we might be able to catch our special guests, um, there sometimes. They actually go on special observatories for them. But, we're gonna make our way all the way through this tough crowd. Uh, excuse me? Oh, sorry, uh, excuse me. Oh, oh god, dodge it. Oh, 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 a swift. Oh, what a steal he goes right through. And, uh, we gotta go on this side, actually. We are gonna go for a little bit of a ride. Which, please, um, keep all. Oh, wait. I gotta switch camera right. Yeah, that's a weird thing that still needs to be fixed. Uh, hope you guys enjoy the ride, and uh, please do not use flash cameras on our dinosaurs because it's really uncomfortable for them, especially at nighttime. It's you wouldn't like it if it's constantly flashing in your face and stuff when you have sensitive eyes, do you? Exactly. I don't think that bracket, even though that brachiosaurus is safely in its enclosure, um, I'm pretty sure if you um, flash photography it, it's gonna say screw you and it's gonna cause me a lot of paperwork to sign. But also on this side is our first deadly but beautiful addition to Jurassic Park, the Dilophosaurus. And also actually you can see the Triceratops on the other side. I'll keep your horses calm, drivers, we're going through. Oh yeah, there is a jeep there. Looks like a one of Harding's team members is kind of stuck there. Wonder what happened. We'll call it in later, but for now, enjoy these lovely Parasaurolophus and lovely Brachiosaurus on this side if the carnivores are a little bit too scary. Also, do not lower your windows onto the Dilophosaurus side. We have discovered that they do spit venom at anything that does threaten them. So if you're a bratty kid, please keep that kid under control because otherwise, well, we don't pay for idiot idiot's behavior, and, uh, well, you antagonize them to the point they spit at you, well, you might just never see, um, your parents' reaction. You'll hear it, though, but you won't see it. But, keeping the tour light and stuff, we're gonna just, uh, go through once more and such. 
Also, that gate should close up pretty soon. Oh, we got some faulty systems there. Luckily, the Dilophosaurus don't actually like that little corner. But going through again, we can see more Parasaurolophus along the river and a Brachiosaurus who looks like he's about to start taking a little bit of a bath, which is a sight to see if you ask me. But in our loop around, we not only see that lovely um, Jurassic Park logo in stone, we will also see one of the most popular herbivores in history in the Triceratops once we loop around here. And as you can see, there is its little stone sign saying, What's coming up? Which we'll just go through. And maybe we'll catch the whole family, or even just one. It's a sight to see no matter what the outcome. Also, yes, these fences are electrified. Oh, yep, there's a Triceratops just right over the bush. Hopefully you guys can grab a quick picture of it before we go, but if you wish to stop, please press the stop button and the vehicle will take a two minute stop break. Now if there's an emergency and such, please press the emergency button and a call will come to you to inf inform you of what the situation will hold. Ah, uh, there's a Dilophosaurus, and there's some Triceratops, both very close to the fences, so you can quickly get some pictures before they run back into their jungle. But remember, no flash photography and no idiots, please. Or you can get the lumbering giants of the Triceratops, deadly but quite calm in comparison to most big herbivores like them. But we're also going to... We're just gonna sneak around, okay? Don't mind us, thank you, bye! Alright, just cutting them off, it's okay, like, you know, these guys are mainly supposed to stay on the track, but you know, they will survive. But also, if you wish to, um, stop, we'll give you a two second, um, chance. Okay, nope, nobody wants to get off, alright, there you go. The visitor center is open at all times and such, though Dr. Wu's um, appointments are not. Now, Here's where it gets very, very spooky, because we have three aggressively intelligent Velociraptors in the enclosure on to our left. And if you, um, well, let's just say, if you wish to be foolish and such, I'd recommend going towards it. But, for now, we'll go through the amazing Jurassic Park gates. And we'll get deeper into the jungles of these enclosures. And you'll be very, very, very lucky if you catch a glimpse of our Velociraptors. We were planning on having a viewing dome in the enclosure, so that way we could get a sneaky look for some of those who are really eager for this one. But for now, you'll just have to have very good hand in, in poker to get a good hand to see our raptors. But... Sadly, looks like not today, unless we catch a glimpse of one. But if not, it's okay, guys. There's plenty of other dinosaurs to see today. And with your special clearance, you'll get to see dinosaurs for the rest of the week for free, because, well, we spared no expense. But you may not see a raptor, but you'll see another bird, which is... The Gallimimuses again, which we saw right around this corner earlier, but you get to get another view of them. They love going around and stuff, and usually they love to just sprint and stuff. We actually, when Jerry Harding, our chief medical um, handler, went through, he actually discovered that they really like to race with the cars, which, if you were ever for some reason working for us and such, and we're tasked with um, monitoring the Gallimimus, never actually agree to the race. Just maintain your speed and stuff, and eventually, once they feel happy enough, they'll just move on. But uh, don't, like, try and outrace them, because that's a very, very bad idea, if you ask me. But we're going to keep on going. Ooh, speaking of the Gallimimus, we got one nice and close here with us as well. Looks like it's Leslie, actually. Oh, there she goes for a little bit of a run herself. Very, very nice. Now, 
we get into the most dangerous enclosure with our most dangerous and actually much more intelligent creature, the Tyrannosaurus Rex, which uh, appears she has recently damaged the fence, though luckily she does not actually go through. It's an illusion, guys, don't worry. We have a special um, protective barrier around the fence that prevents her from getting through. We just thought we'd give you the shock of your life with a, a big hole in the fence. Security, please get on that. We gotta bridge. I mean, nothing, nothing, guys. We're fine, we're fine. Though if you need to poop your pants of, well, if you need to clear your pants of a um, bathroom issue, don't worry, guys. We know that we love to scare you guys with that prank, which is why we set up a lovely restroom right over here for you guys. So please take your time and uh, clean off your pants, because seriously, we are tired of having to clean up these damn seats. I mean, we just want you to be in the best condition for the rest of your tour, which is actually coming to an end, I'm afraid, as we have reached the end of the Jurassic Park tour, as you can see. Maybe we'll catch a glimpse of the raptors one time right at the end? Yes, we do! Luck was on your hands, guys, because there it is. One of the three vicious but beautiful velociraptors of Jurassic Park. And will we catch a glimpse of Rexy on this side in the lower regions of our enclosure? Looks like you guys only got a little bit of a look of her earlier on in the tour, but that's okay. Ooh, we actually get two raptors. There we go. Looks like with Rexy deciding not to give you guys the photography chance, you guys are getting two raptors for this one. So get your cameras out before they decide to leave, because, um, well, you guys are getting a lucky hand. And some of these people that we're keeping, um, behind so oh uh, yeah they know that we're in these vehicles guys luckily they know not to hit the fence and stuff because they've become acquainted with the enclosure enough that they won't cause you harm but they do love giving you that death stare of like i will eat you if i can because well it's true these guys will not waste a meal just like any other animal now Oh, seriously, people, hit the brakes. And that is... Oh, yeah, geez, that's the end of the tour, guys. And, guys, I want to say thank you for all of the amazing support on the channel and stuff. This was loads of fun to build over the last few days and such. And Well, actually, I built it all in a day. I just, like, admired it for a few more days before recording. But it was loads of fun. I loved all these additions and stuff it's makes us feel so much more like Jurassic Park than this game has ever been and I hope we get more for it and also more for Jurassic World whether it's more tour rides more scenery items or stuff the T-Rex um, Kingdom archway would be a beautiful addition in my opinion but then again guys that it's all up to us fans to say what we want and see if we get it but if you guys have enjoyed this video and this content that we have now, I would appreciate the like. And if you haven't already, do hit the subscribe button to join the hunt. And until next time, guys, stay safe, and I'll see you later. Bye bye